Good morning everyone. How be you all? Today we are going to start with a new topic of grammar. But before we begin with the new topic, I would like to ask you a question that what are we surrounded by? Think for an answer children. What are we surrounded by? Yes, the answer is we are surrounded by people, places, animal or things. They all have different, different needs. Yes, everything we are, uh, everything around us, whether it is a person, place, animal or thing has a name. So what are we going to study? We are going to study about naming words. Naming words are also called nouns. They name various people, places, animal or thing. So children, what are nouns? Nouns are the naming words. It tells us the name of a person, place, animal, bird and thing. Yeah, let us take few examples. Yeah, for example, Abhay is running. Here, the person's name is Abhay. Right? So what is Abhay? Abhay is a Person. So what are we going to write? Abhe is a person. So I live in India. Yes, India is a place where we live in. So India is a place. What is India? India is a place. These are my books. Books we can touch, we can feel. Books are the things, right? So these are my books. Your books become thing. Yeah. Books are your things. Yeah. So book becomes books become thing. I have a pet dog. Now dog we all know is an animal. So dog is an animal. So now what were we discussing? We were discussing about nouns and all person, place, animal. Things are your noun. Nouns are the naming words. The name, person, place, animal and thing. So children, now you know what are nouns. Nouns are the naming words. They name persons, places, animals, things. Right? So let us discuss persons. What are persons? All the people, all the people which you see around are persons. Persons can be your mother is a person. Yes, your father is a person. Your aunt is a person. So these are the examples of persons. Aunt, uncle. Even if you go to a shop, the shopkeeper is a person. Milkman, the person who comes to deliver milk at your house is also a person. Milkman is a person. So all the people which you see around are persons. Right? So now children, let us come to places. So what are places? Yes, places. The places are wherever we go. Yes, for example, we go to school. Early in the morning we go to school. So school becomes a place. Yeah, from school we go to our house. So house also becomes a place. We go to park to play. So park also becomes a place. And people come to India. Right. So India is also a place. People come to India to visit various places. India is a place. So wherever we can go becomes a place. Even if you go to a mall. Yes, let's call whether we go to... Z square mall, that is also a place. We go to Rave Moti, that is also a place. So mall is also a place. Right, now comes animals. Yes, animals is a very easy thing. You all understand what are animals. Animals, yeah, animals, yeah. For example, dog is an animal. It is a noun. Cat, dog. Lion, tiger, even all birds also come under animal. All birds also come under animal. Let's take example of peacock, parrot. These all are your birds and 
and they all come under noun. Peacock, parrot. These are your birds and animals. All are come under animals category, and all animals come under noun. So you know persons, places, animals. Now comes thing. Yeah, things. What are things? Things are anything that you can see, touch, and feel becomes a thing. For example, I'm writing with a pen. So pen is also a thing. You see fan. Yeah, fan. A uh, fan around. So fan is also a thing. If you uh, you are writing in your notebooks, you see notebooks, books. So books are also a thing. You can see, you can touch, you can feel. Whatever you can touch, you can uh, feel becomes a thing. Mobile, mobile is also a thing. So all yeah things. So all persons, places, animals, things come under now. So now children. Let us do an activity. Underline the nouns in the following sentences. And you know what are nouns? Nouns are the naming words. They name persons, places, animals and things. Yes, and remember animals. Yeah, birds also are included in animals. Okay, so now my first sentence is Sarika loves to play. So now in this sentence, can you see Sarika? Sarika is a person. It is a name of a person. So Sarika is a person. It is a noun. In the second sentence, Raman is playing in a garden. Yes. So Raman is a name of a boy. It is a person. Yes, boys are persons. Yeah. So Raman is a person. And where has Raman gone to play? He has gone to a garden. So garden is a place. Wherever you can go becomes a place. So garden is your place. So garden is also a noun. Raman is a noun and garden is a noun. In the third sentence it is written the cow gives us milk. You all know cow is an animal. So cow becomes your noun and it gives us milk. Milk we can touch. Yes, we can touch. We can feel. So, milk is a thing. So, milk also becomes your noun. So, cow and milk are your nouns. In the third sentence, Manan is using my pen. Yes, so Manan is again a name of a boy. So, it is a noun and is using my pen. Pen is a thing. You can touch a pen. You can touch a pen with your hand. It is, yeah, all things are your non-living things. And you can touch a pen. So, it becomes a thing. Yes. So, think. So, manan is a noun and pen is a noun. So, the boy is eating an ice cream. So, boy again is a person. So, it is a noun. And is eating an ice cream. You can touch ice cream. You can feel ice cream. So, ice cream becomes your thing. So, it is also a noun. So, in all these sentences, have you understood? All person, yes, Sarika, Raman, Manan, boy are persons, they are noun. Garden is a place, it is a noun. Cow is an animal, it is a noun. Milk, pen, ice cream are things. So, they are also noun. So, children, I hope now you have understood what are nouns. Yeah, so in this session we learned about nouns.